Hi, Susanna. Hi, yo. <laughs> How are you doing? Fine, fine, fine. Excited. I, yes. I, in yes. Madrid? Yeah, now in Madrid. Uh, yeah, you know, COVID, pandemic, it, oh, yeah, but yes. I'm in Madrid now. Yeah, great. So um, we're going to talk about, I just realized when I was um, sitting down for this interview, I realized you are probably, don't take this the wrong way, it's great. <laughs> You're probably my, the, not the oldest client. You're not my oldest. And there's nothing wrong with being old, right? But you're probably the, one of the persons I've worked the longest with. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that today I brought several, you know, partners that uh, we have been working to because uh, it's a long, long, long way, you know. And I brought Caroline and, you know, Katerina. And, and I realized, oh, my God, it's been a long trip. Uh, but since we know. started working in Madrid, it must have yeah. been. I wasn't even pregnant, so it must have no? been. 15 years or something like yeah, that. Yeah, more, I think so. Well, yeah, 15 at least. Yeah, because I remember how, you know, your belly <laughs> started to grow. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Okay, great. And now so well, can, it's great. <laughs> let's talk about a little bit your path with this work. Uh, oh, let's maybe even start with... Why did you decide to reset? Why did you feel like, okay, I need to go inside of myself and get free? Why did you think that that's what you had to do? Well, I think it was, um, you know, sometimes with this work, you are up and down, up and down. And that's okay for me, okay? But there are other things that you are kind of flat line mm -hmm. and that works. That's something that I don't like it. You don't like it. Uh, and I can say why you don't like it because um, you look very humble and you're an actress, you're a producer, you're a director, mm -hmm. you do movies, TV series, big theater productions. So you're a very um, ambitious very passionate artist. And so that's probably why you don't like it when it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even maybe even I could say that this ambition that, that maybe now I have, I have, uh, is the result of my, my joy, my passion, when I started to find that, okay, this, this is not a good way. Yeah. This kind of pattern, you know, you, you go in the same way that the rest of the actors, and, and it's okay, but now even I, I know a lot of actors in, in Madrid, but because I haven't lived here for, for much time. And, and I see that kind of, okay, nobody calls me and I say, oh my God, I was there and I'm not going to come back. And I think I started to feel this ambitious when I started to feel this uh, opening feeling, this freedom, okay, this is much, much better. Now I am, you know, I feel the freedom. I feel the energy. I feel I can climb a mountain. So yeah. what I'm going to do with this? Yeah. Uh, you can only create. That's the, I think yeah. the great thing is like when your instrument is closed up and, and not free, like you say, you're stirring and swimming into your problems and you don't really see the possibilities. It yeah. feels like you're a victim of this industry and, uh, and it feels like that. And, and more than flat, it feels like uh, it's a sinking ship. Yeah. But then when you get free, it's something that's far beyond smart, right? It's, it's something about your clarity, about your vision, about your heart, about your whole body and instrument is opening up and becoming human and alive again and when that happens it's true that problems are no longer problems it's just like opportunities are yeah. there you don't see them as problems anymore you just see them as oh here's that thing what do i want to do with it yeah, yeah and 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 you know that 
something that um, has happened, for example, for me, with me this year, uh, because it's how you said, it's, it's a long time with you. And oh my God, it's been so great. For example, today I was talking to an actor. He's going to be in one of the biggest festival in, in Spain. It's Merida. It's an old antique theater. It's, it's something very, very bigger in, in Spain. And he was so scared because he had to learn a classic text, mm -hmm. you know, lines. Mm -hmm. And he was so scared. He was so, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And I said, oh my God, you have to do this. You have to do this, please. And you know, and he told me, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to book this, you, you know, to buy this book. And I, okay, we are going to do this soon. And I said, oh my God, it, it's, it's just, you know, when you change the perspective, uh, everything changes. It's what you say, you, you can be open. And I say, oh my God, uh, I just give joy and, and enthusiasm to this actor. Yeah. And that's great. And it, of course, it's, it's what you do with, with us, you know, every, every day with you is, okay, let's go. And, and I know it's, it's tough, it's not easy. I, I know it's not easy because sometimes you- It's not about, yeah, being positive or anything, right? And it's not about me no. giving you any of that. I guess that the reset work leads you back to the joy that's always already forever is in you and you just reconnect. Reconnecting with your truth and your freedom and your authenticity inevitably reconnects you with joy. Yeah, it's, yeah. You explain so, uh, uh, of course, your English is much better than me, and you explain very, very. But it is, is, is like that, you know. It's um, it is, it's no joy. It's um, it's how I started not to feel fear of my darkness, of my sadness, of my pain, and I say, well, okay, fear, not yeah. being afraid of your fear. It's just, yeah. it's what it is. Yeah. Is there okay? What can I do with them? Yeah. And how I can share. It's not sharing a drama, you know, okay. No, it's not that. It's okay. It's there, yeah. you know, and, and not try to hide it and not try to, because uh, then uh, I've been there. I've been with so much pain and I know it's, it's not good because it's not good for your actors, but especially it's not good for your life. Yeah. If you all the time hiding, and you know, I am from Spain. It's a dark country now. Maybe it changed, but we have a dark story. Yeah, and yes, all the time hiding, yeah. and all the contrary, all, all the time we are in on party. Um, and here we are. Okay, this is me. And so, when you are in that place now of okay, this is me. Tell us what kind of results you're getting because the truth is sometimes I share your results or other people's results in the group. And even when I say them, I feel like no one's going to believe this is true. And it is true. It's so true. from that place of being happily you, whether you're feeling like shit or not, and just being like, okay, this is me. Share with us the type of results that, you have gotten and if it's you don't want to brag tell me to do it and i'll share i'll share them for you <laughs> well i have to say i i just come back to madrid to spain i i've been in another country in argentina for almost 20 years so i came back here and i said okay i don't have an agent nobody knows me i've been doing theater for almost 20 years what can I do? The thing is, okay, I have a lot of tools thanks to the reset, thanks to the, you know, the, the purpose. And I, okay, if I have all this material, I have I'm me, I, I have to do something with it. And I did uh, four or five workshops with different di uh, casting directors. And in all of them, I went there with, you know, totally open, the scene I always wore with the stop acting, with the breathing, with all the exercise that we do. And I have to say, all the casting directors told me, where are you been all this time? I said, no, because I've been living in another country. Oh my God. And I have to say this, this year I booked uh, 
three four different um, characters in four different uh, shows. One of them is the whole season. Today is the last one episode. And it's been a gift, but the, but at the same time, it's been okay. All this this the this work of all these years is this, and and now the the thing that I I really love is when I I write some of these di casting directors, they answer me immediately. Sometimes in the same morning, sometimes in two hours, and yes, Susanna, thank you. We are going to you know. So yeah. it's because. They remember you, but not because okay, she's good. No, it's because okay, you she's were your really free. She's really open, and we want to work with this kind of actors. And and I will add because you haven't said it. I don't know in how many of these workshops you've been hired, but for one of them at least, I know that you were signed for this whole season of this show without any casting. Yes. Just because and the rest of them same it's been without any casting okay so yeah. so three times your book not for small parts and they are hiring you without casting so i want to underline this for anyone who's watching and who's having doubts about what what is instinct or what is freedom or what is that going to do i should you know i should learn the methods and the techniques and i should make sure that i'm you know, learning my craft and, and doing what's right for the character or trying to understand what casting wants. No, mm -hmm. that is not really the most powerful thing you can do. It isn't because everyone can do that. Figure mm -hmm. out what do they want? Oh, let's try and do it right, whatever that means. Yeah. It'll be generic, it'll be uninteresting. And I'm not saying you can't book anything like that. Maybe sometimes you can book a little something, but the magic, is when you're really being you. And really being you doesn't mean being happy and smiling all the time. Being you means really being you, whatever that, however you feel. That's freedom. And when casting directors see you like that, and Susanna's an example, you get booked every single time. And in Susanna's case, without even a casting. That's incredible. That actually changes all the rules of this industry, which is so powerful to know that Actors always think that the industry is so hard to navigate in. Yeah. Yeah, if you think there's a right way to do it and if you're trying to submit to everything that everyone tells you out there, it's gonna be hard. And if you're actually walking through this industry as an artist, freely being you, defending who you are and not trying to please everyone, yeah. they'll hire you without testing you because, because, because that's what everybody's looking for is free being right? Mm -hmm. Not good actors. Who cares about good actors? We want something beyond good acting. We want greatness. And that is only possible when you're fully alive and fully free. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like that. And it's, it's not only even with the casting director. It has happened me in the, on the set this year with the different directors because, you know, in a show, I, I think I've been working with six different directors who did in the same year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes they forget to send you the lines and you have to learn in five minutes. And, mm -hmm. and always they told me, why are you so, so you know, it, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's not that I am, it, what I not, it's scared. And if I am scared, okay, I'm scared. I'm going to recycle like this and I'm going to give that to the character, you know. And even the other day, I remember I was in another show, another character. And it was very funny because the director, when uh, he changed the, the take, it was when, in my shoot, you know, in my PP. And he told me, oh my God, I realized that you are really sweet. I think we are going to change the lines. Can you, you know, um, improvise? I said, yes, that's funny, <laughs> you know? And that's the kind of things that can happen when you are not only with the lines, with the memory, the, when you are okay again this is this is me this yeah. is shit. that's when the magic happens is, is yeah. when you're truly in the moment and you can't be truly in the moment and truly present if your instrument an instrument is not open if it's not free if it's not instinctive you're not there you're trying mm -hmm. to do it right okay and so you have other things so one could think 
oh, you know, there's only so much we can do and it's COVID. And so you've booked so much this year, probably more than ever. And then you're also producing because that's what happens when, when you're really showing up and really present and really there. You don't have to hunt for things. You don't have to work hard and hustle. Things show up. So can you say a little bit about you, producer? Yeah, it's... Um... I started to do that uh, with theater, you know, in, in Argentina. But now I, I, I was in Madrid and I said, okay, what can I do? I'm here in Madrid, nobody knows me. And I said, okay, uh, I want to do a movie. And what I have to do, you know, be straight and direct and, and go on. And, and the thing is, why some people decide to produce and the other not. And I think it's, it's a kind of energy that is, is ambitious. And, but at the same time for me, especially it's, I want to create. And now I'm not creating now with this producer, my, my own project, but I knew that I have to learn. You know, I have to be surrounded by, with people uh, that really are producers. And I say, okay, I'm going to do the first step. Mm -hmm. produce with another ones, another project of yeah. another people. And now I suppose next year is going to be my own project. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I am, okay, okay. It, it's, it's not something that uh, you improvise, uh, but you, you have a, yeah, you have a project, yeah. but it, it's not a project, it, it's a project with your life with, uh, okay. Uh, what I want to to do with my life, and I want to create. I I don't know if it's as an actress, producer, writer. For me, it's tell stories, and that's the big deal for me. Yeah, and you know the 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 way things flow is be, do, have. So if I am being a hundred percent. I am doing things that come from that 100% from my heart, from my soul, from my full self. And therefore, because I've done things from that place, I get, I have things that come as a result. And in our culture, people are focusing on the have, yeah. right? Everybody's on Instagram trying to get some likes. I want to have some love and have some validation. That's what people are looking for. That's how we're raised. We're raised saying you need to have in order to be someone and you need to do in order to be someone. And the truth of it is that that's the opposite of what nature has done. You are a person and therefore you do a certain type of things that another person doesn't do. And therefore you have a certain kind of things that another person will have because they did different things. But if you hijack that and you want to get to the have or the do before the be, you're not creating from a place of, of wholefulness. You're creating in a very superficial layer. You're not really there because you haven't done the be part yet. So you have to start with the being, which is what you've done. And inevitably now it unfolds into so many things because, because everything you do is aligned with who you are. So it's attractive. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And and even I have to say, again, it's connected that uh, with this um, open, with this exercise, with the reset is, uh, you know, looking in you. I know it doesn't exist, but, <laughs> you know, looking inside uh, and don't be scared of what you're looking for or what yeah. you're going to, to find. And I think the most you, you are connected with you the most you need to share. Of course. The most you need to be in contact with. Uh, for me, you know that for me, culture and fiction and movies and films and theater, the best part for me is, uh, is the world without borders. Mm -hmm. And the most I find me, the, the most I, I feel connected with other people. I don't mind, I don't care about the you know the country the languages yeah. and that's what happened with the reset too because we are from so many many different cultures and countries yeah but uh, we are so connected for because well in your heart so, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so would you have something to say to people who are considering resetting themselves and freeing themselves up and who are not sure about doing this work because it's so, so different from traditional approach to acting and so they're not sure and it's also online and it lasts a month. Do you have anything to say to them? Well, I, I should say, um, okay, put in a list, you know, what you have done with a traditional way, you know, what you have done. It's, it's not only done as a result. I mean done even with you, you know, and then put in the other list what you have to lose. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, uh, all this uh, tribu, I like this uh, Spanish word, um, all these people, all this group, uh, you know, that we are doing this, the, the reset and, and, and the next. Um, we, we have found so much, uh, it's, it's no work, it's, uh, you know, different ways to create uh, among each other with other people. And that's something very, very special from, from where you, we, we are doing that and, and how we are doing that. And okay, I'd say, don't be scared. And if you are like me in, you know, in this line, you don't have anything to lose, just try. For me, because I know when people try, everything explodes. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know how many years we've been doing this now or how many people have gone through the reset. Maybe we're on our way to 2,000 people. Um, when someone has done the work, it hasn't not worked. So, like, we haven't had anyone finish their reset and ask for their money back. And this is not a testament to how great the program is or how great I am because th there actually is no program in the reset. We're not teaching anything. We're just guiding people back home by guiding them back into their heart. And there's nothing that you're learning in the reset. You're unlearning everything you do know to come back to you. So it can't fail because it's you. The program is you. So you, you, you can't go wrong in a way. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Susanna, so much thank for sharing. You, it's so nice to be and for taking so time in your busy schedule. And um, I will see you very soon. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. I hope so. No, I know. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.